Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be talking about the Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2, the new LR that's available from the Friend Summon. How to get them, fr well, how to get them, how to get them all the way up to LR at every single point in the game, every throughout every single stage. So let's go ahead and talk about that. First off, go over to your Friend Summon, you will see the new flagship of Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2, that's Videl and Gohan and their Great Saiyan Man getups. Really awesome, awesome card. Um, actually, it's really freaking great. I will be doing a team building guide on this, by the way, just so you know. Uh, I'm going to drop that later on today. And for those of you who are looking for my uh, my live stream for tonight, I will probably, most likely, like 85% sure, I will be doing one around 8.30, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I know some of you were asking me last night on my live stream what time I'll be doing that, so stay tuned for tonight. I will most likely be doing it at 8.30, 9 o'clock Eastern time. I'll probably be doing it for about an hour, hour and a half. Now, if you were also watching me last night, you know I had... I was doing the Extreme Z Awakening. I ended up beating it last night. Um, I'll do level 31 with you guys on live stream. And um, yeah, I'll uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and look into that as well. Anyway, um, so because this video is specifically for the friends, I mean, let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new here. Please help show support of your channel. Hero of Justice Transformation, Complete Great Saint Man 1 and 2. This is the first card. This is what you pull. When you do your friend summon, this is the one you want to get. Uh, it's a really awesome card. Uh, so total, you're going to need 24 of these. Now, why do you need 24 of them? You need two units to get to Super Attack 10, so that's 20 total. And you need four extra for all four do paths unlocked. So that is going to be a total of 24 units. Now, you cannot do do paths on their base form. So that means you need to get one at Super Attack 10, one at Super Attack 20, and all four individual ones at Super Attack 1. You need to Doken Waken all six of them with well by by this so look at this you have one piccolo one super saiyan 2 goku one super saiyan 2 vegeta one super saiyan gohan teen and one kaioken goku you need to do six of each of those medals i will have a little screenshot put up in the right hand corner of the screen uh to to notate this by the way shout out to d monty because uh, i kind of watched his video first uh, at least I skimmed through it to see what you know what he did and I, because he had that up That was actually a really good idea to have all the medals up of what you're gonna need Except I'm doing two rows one is gonna be for the left hand side You're gonna see what you need to just doken awaken one unit all the way up and the other row is gonna be if you want to do super attack 20 So keep that in mind Anyway, uh, you're gonna want to get all of these medals now most of the medals on the all the medals on the first one are from the hero extermination plan Evil power strike back. You're gonna go here. You have the Super Saiyan 2 Goku is gonna be available on stage 9 Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta stage 12 Super Saiyan teen go or adult Gohan is gonna be level 13 You have the great Saiyan man 1 and the great Saiyan man 2 medals on level 15 That's where those two are are so if you guys are looking for them They're available there level 15 Piccolo medals are on stage 17 Vegeta medals are on stage 18 Goku medals are on stage 19. Goku medals have been the biggest pain in the butt for me. Which one was the most big pain in the butt for you? Because I can't get this for drop. I had one drop in like 15 runs or something. It wasn't actually 15 runs, but I've only had one drop in probably about five runs, and it's a pain in the butt. Uh, you have the Fat Boo, the good Mr. Boo medals are available on stage 21. Now notate that. I did say Mr. Boo. Uh, there is the Fat Bad Boo that is uh, going to be uh, available also on the on the other evil, uh, the Hero Extermination Plan event. Uh, Super Saiyan Trunks is going to be available on stage 22. Go Gohan, Super Saiyan Gohan is available 23, and Super Saiyan Goku GT, the kid version, is available on level 24. Now, going over the Hero Extermination Plan, the regular event, you're going to have to go all the way down here. It's going to be the last two levels, levels 22 and 23, is going to be Majin Vegeta and the Evil Boo, or the Majin Boo. Well, actually, it says Majin Boo, good. Uh, but, it's, but it is for the Majin Boo. So make sure you notate that, you keep that in your mind. There are two different sets of Majin Buu's. Do not get them confused. This one, you're going to need 10 medals, and this fat, the, the better Buu, I guess the, the one with the big fat chubby face, Mr. Buu, you're going to need six of them total, or three just to get them to get one set Doken Awaken. Um, so, once you Doken Awaken this guy, he Doken Awakens to an SSR grand arrival of the of the scene, Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. Uh, so, again, this one, you're going to need six of each of those medals to get all of your, all your six units. That is the two Super Attack 20s and the four for Dupaz. Get them up to SSR. Get one of your Super Attack 20s to TUR. Get all four Dupaz unlocked on that guy. Uh, that way, you don't have to worry about the medals. At this point, you only have to get double the amount of medals that are available. This is the SSR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. When you Doken Awaken them, you're going to Doken Awaken them with three of the Super Saiyan Goku medals, three of the Super Saiyan Vegeta medals, three of the Super Saiyan Trunks medals, three of the Super Saiyan Team Gohan medals, and three of the Fat Good or Mr. Boo. That's going to be on the Hero Extermination Plan, uh, uh, Evil Power Strike Back. 
So that's over here. That's going to be this guy over here, uh, the Fat Boo, and yeah, these guys on the bottom. So this is Hero Extermination Plan, Evil Power Strike Back. You'll see because there's a little bit of the note over here. And that's how you're going to get them Doken Awakened. That's their SSR form. Uh, you're going to need to get double. So right now, you need three of each of these medals. Total, you're going to need is six if you want to get them to Super Attack 20 at LR. Then you have the TUR grind for the TUR units. So we uh, so the world can live in peace. Great Save Man 1 and 2. Scroll down here. These three are from the, the, the original uh, Hero Extermination Plan. So you're going to need to go down here. Well, not all three of them. You have the Majin Vegeta and the Boo. You're going to need each of them to get uh, to get them Doken Awakened. And you're going to need the, the GT Goku, which is on the original uh, Evil Power Strike Back. It's going to be the last, last stage, level 24. You're going to need a, a couple of them. Once you get five of him, uh, five of each of these, and five of the Great Saiyan Man 1 and Great Saiyan Man 2, which we already talked about on the Hero Extermination Plan. Uh, again, those two are available on stage 15. Then you can get them Doken Waking to LR. Now, you do not need to get them to Super Attack 20 to rainbow them or to get the bottom right do path unlocked keep that in mind lrs don't work that way only reason i say that is because it was a mistake made that in demonte's video and everyone like tore them apart don't tear people apart make mistakes are made i make mistakes all the time all right you know we're just here to try and give you the news but you can do it at super attack 10 so remember you don't need to do it the one on the left hand side if you just want to get one guy with no do paths unlocked you only need to grind out those metals it's not a big grind fest so if you're not looking to do the grind fest you can do that Plus, you could always reverse Doken them in the future. And yes, you could reverse Doken an LR to a TUR to an SSR. So just, you, you don't have to worry about that if you want to do it in the future. I still want to do the damn grind for the Baba Treasures to get those freaking reversals. But yes, that's what it's available. Once you get all of these medals, you can go ahead and finally Doken Waken them to Blazing Love and Burning Justice. Such an awesome title. Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. Um, this is also a really decent unit. Now, I did additionals, which is a big mistake on my part. Now, I did additionals because, I mean, it's not a huge mistake because it's not a big deal, but the thing is because I, I was originally on the impression, oh, well, they'll get a double super attack. They'll go ahead and do uh, raise the, the enemy, the, the allies attack by 60%. No, when an additional goes off, it only does colossal damage. Now, mind you, that's still not bad. I mean, it's not like a huge screw up. So let's say you get a mega colossal damage, your, your allies next round are going to get the buff, but then they get a colossal damage and then the enemy sealed because it doesn't seal when it does the mega colossal. So, I mean, it's still not that bad. I'm, I'm going to stick with my additionals. So, it's up to you guys what you want to do. Let me know what, what tube system you're planning on feeding them. Uh, I heard some people said that they were going to give them dodge, which I'm not a big fan of, but I can understand since they're just a support unit. You're probably not going to run them, unless you don't have really good units. You're probably not going to run them on your primary team. You're probably going to be off rotation, so giving them dodge so that way they could tank or miss, miss attacks completely is all right. But uh, I would definitely go with additional or crit. Most likely additional, because if you get the, the micro colossal damage, then you get a, a, a colossal damage super deck off that you raise your allies attack and you seal them so i think that's the best one but this is a really good card i will be doing a team building guide dropping later on today uh their passive skill is amazing super class allies keep us four defense plus 50 percent which is really awesome great defensive buff and extreme type enemies defense minus 70 percent this is going to come in handy very very handy on the og broly event and his uh 70 leader event as well 70 percent leader is probably gonna be a little bit better because he doesn't they you know the og broly has a type advantage against the physical unit but you could still run this guy on that team anyway just so that way you can get that defensive debuff on him unless you have guldo and you just get attacked once by the broly then you guldo drops his defense down to zero and you can just one shot him but uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, really awesome card, really great LR. I will be doing a team building guide later on today. Uh, if you guys are watching this in the future, uh, just go ahead and check out that video. I'll have it linked afterwards. I'll have it in like a little, uh, little pop-up, little box pop-up afterwards. So that way you can actually click onto that and watch the team building guide. I'm not going to really do like team building per se as in, oh, this is the optimal team you could run. I'm going to do more of a, uh, this is his best linking buddies like I typically do because uh, doing a super team is so difficult because there's so many goddamn combinations of units that you can run so i don't really want to do that because I'll, it'll be like a 30 minute video i just want to stick to the these are the allies these are some of the best units that he can link with this is who you may, may want to consider running i will also talk about a mono physical team with him um and majin buu saga category team with him as well just so we, we can just have like this is who you can run him with if you want to do that but, um, yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. Again, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Please help show your support of the channel. Again, uh, for today only, I will be doing uh, the live stream most likely tonight around 8.30, 9 o'clock Eastern time uh, at night, you know, p.m. So uh, if you guys want to jump on there, I'll probably be finishing this up. Uh, and also, again, ready to the EZA, but I have not awakened everyone, so I'll be doing that again, too. 
Anyway, guys, thank you again for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that sub button, and I'll catch you all later.